Which of these statements is true about drinking alcohol and driving? A. If you can walk in a straight line after drinking, it is safe to drive. B. If you are under the legal blood alcohol concentration limit, your driving is an impaired. C. Alcohol affects judgment, which is needed to drive safely. C. Alcohol affects judgment, which is needed to drive safely. Being under the influence of alcohol affects your judgment. Good judgment is necessary to react appropriately to things that you see or hear while on the road. Even if you are below the legal blood alcohol limit, consuming any amount of alcohol is likely to affect your ability to drive safely. This yellow sign means A. One lane ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. C. Lane ends ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. This sign warns of the possible presence of merging traffic. This is the shape and color of a fill in the blank sign. A. Stop. B. Wrong way. C. Yield. C. Yield. Downward facing triangular signs mean drivers must yield. When approaching a yield sign, slow down to a speed that is reasonable for existing conditions and stop if necessary. If you must stop, do so at a marked stop line, if it exists. Before backing your vehicle, you should a. Walk completely around the vehicle to be sure no person or obstacle is behind it. b. Look to the front, sides, and rear. c. Both of the above. c. Both of the above. If you are going to back up a vehicle, it is a good practice to first walk around the vehicle to be sure no person or obstacle is behind it. Before backing, you should look to the front, sides, and rear and continue to look over your right shoulder to the rear while backing. Do not depend only on your mirrors. Want to ace you DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When driving in work zones, you should a. Follow the driver in front of you closely. b. Pass the driver in front of you as soon as you can. c. Avoid tailgating and keep a safe following distance. c. Avoid tailgating and keep a safe following distance. When driving in a work zone, keep a safe distance between your vehicle and traffic barriers, trucks, construction equipment, workers, and other vehicles. Increase your following distance and do not tailgate. This road sign means A. Sharp right turn ahead. B. A road joins from the right. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then sharply to the left. If you have had several beers, the effects of alcohol will be reduced only by A. Taking a cold shower. B. Waiting several hours. C. Drinking several cups of coffee. B. Waiting several hours. The only way to remove the impairing effects of alcohol is to give the body time to remove it from the body. Drinking coffee, physical activity, or taking a cold shower will not speed up this process. It takes about one hour to cancel the effects of one drink. This sign means A. Stop. B. Merge. C. Upcoming change in direction. A. Stop.
An eight-sided red sign means stop. When approaching a school bus stopped with its stop arm extended and red lights flashing, drivers should a. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. b. Honk their horn before passing the bus on its left. c. Continue driving when they think most kids are probably done exiting the bus. a. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. When you are approaching a school bus that has stopped on the road with its stop signal arm extended and its red lights flashing, come to a complete stop. Remain stopped until the stop signal is retracted and the flashing lights are turned off. Excessive speed? A. Saves time so you can get to your destination more quickly. B. Helps you maneuver around obstacles. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. Excessive speed is one of the most common contributing factors to vehicle crashes. Excessive speed does not save time and often leads to high-risk decision-making. If you parallel park facing downward on a hill, a. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. b. Turn your wheels away from the side of the road. c. Keep your wheels straight. a. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. When parking downhill, turn your front wheels toward the curb or edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road without a curb, turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road with a curb, you must turn your front wheels away from the curb. This sign tells a driver that A. A construction flagger is ahead. B. A police officer is ahead. C. A parking attendant is ahead. A. A construction flagger is ahead. This sign warns that there is a flag person ahead. Always follow directions given by a flagger. Flaggers normally wear orange or yellow vests, yellow-green shirts, or bright jackets. They use paddles and red flags to direct traffic through the work zone and to let workers or construction vehicles cross the road. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in an urban district is a. 20 miles per hour. b. 30 miles per hour. c. 45 miles per hour. b. 30 miles per hour. When driving in an urban district, the statutory speed limit is 30 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, follow the posted speed limit. This road sign means A. Road widens ahead. B. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon and traffic should merge left. C. Highway entrance ramp ahead. B. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon and traffic should merge left. A warning sign is usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that the number of lanes ahead is reduced and that traffic will need to merge to the left. This sign means A. School crossing. B. School zone. C. Pedestrian crossing. C. Pedestrian crossing. This sign marks the presence of a crosswalk. Be alert to any pedestrians that may be crossing the roadway. Trucks blind spots are A. Directly behind the body. B. On the immediate left of the cab. C. Both on the immediate left of the cab and directly behind the body. C. Both on the immediate left of the cab and directly behind the body. A truck's blind spots are much larger than a smaller car's blind spots. 
The driver cannot see your car behind their vehicle and you can't see what's happening in traffic ahead if you're driving too closely behind the truck. Whether you are driving behind or to the side of the truck, if you can't see the driver's face in their side view mirror, then they can't see you. If you want to pass a pedestrian who is walking along the roadway and an oncoming vehicle is approaching, you should a. Slow down and let the oncoming vehicle pass before you pass the pedestrian. b. Keep driving at a steady speed. The oncoming vehicle must stop for you. c. Honk your horn to get the pedestrian to move over. a. Slow down and let the oncoming vehicle pass before you pass the pedestrian. If possible, try to only deal with one roadway hazard at a time. If you want to pass a pedestrian but an oncoming vehicle is approaching, slow down and let the vehicle pass. You may then pass the pedestrian if it is safe to do so. On a multi-lane road, a dashed yellow line next to a solid yellow line means A. Passing is prohibited from both directions. B. Passing is permitted from both directions. C. Passing is permitted only from the direction next to the dashed line. C. Passing is permitted only from the direction next to the dashed line. Where there are both solid and dashed yellow lines between lanes of traffic, only traffic directly next to the dashed line may cross the center line to pass. Drivers next to the solid line may not pass. Night driving presents unique problems because a. The speed limit is increased at night. b. There are fewer cars on the roads at night. c. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. c. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. Night driving creates a unique set of problems for drivers. Due to the reduced visibility, it can be difficult to judge distance and the traveling speeds of other vehicles when driving at night. Drivers can see only as far as their headlights allow. When changing lanes, you should never a. Cross the center line in an intersection. b. Check your blind spots by looking over your left or right shoulder. c. Check for other drivers moving into the same lane. A. Cross the center line in an intersection. Before changing lanes, check for drivers trying to pass you who may be trying to enter the same lane as you. Look over your shoulder to check your blind spot. You should never attempt to pass or otherwise change lanes in an intersection. You are approaching an intersection where a traffic signal is displaying a steady yellow light. If you have not already entered the intersection, you should a. Speed up to beat the red light. b. Reduce your speed and proceed carefully through the intersection. c. Come to a safe stop. c. Come to a safe stop. At an intersection controlled by a steady yellow light, you should bring your vehicle to a safe stop. If you are already within the intersection when the light changes from green to yellow, continue through the intersection at a safe speed. When you see this yellow sign, you should a. Always stop at the crosswalk. b. Stop at the crosswalk until a crossing guard signals for you to go. c. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. A five-sided sign indicates that you are near a school. Be aware and stop if children are in the crosswalk. When stopped for a traffic violation or at an equipment check, a driver must produce A. Only their insurance and registration. B. Only their license. C their license, insurance, and registration. c. 
their license, insurance, and registration. When stopped for a traffic violation or at an equipment check, a driver must produce their license, proof of registration, and proof of insurance. Drivers are required to have all three of these documents in a vehicle when it is being driven. This sign means A. No right turn. B. You must turn right. C. Watch for traffic on your right. A. No right turn. This sign prohibits right turns. You cannot make a right turn at an intersection where this sign is posted. Prior to entering a curve, A. Activate your turn signal. B. Reduce your speed. C. Brake hard. B. Reduce your speed. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed limit, based on road conditions, but it is illegal to drive any faster than the posted speed limit. Some conditions which require reduced speed for safety include approaching curves or hills where visibility is limited, driving on slippery roads, and driving on roads where animals and pedestrians are present. When a school bus is picking up or dropping off children, you must A. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. B. Stop if you are driving in the same direction. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop. A. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. When approaching a school bus that is picking up or dropping off passengers, you must come to a complete stop before reaching the bus, regardless of your direction of travel. At a school crossing sign, you should A. Always stop, whether there is a stop sign or not. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. C. Always sound your horn when you see children. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. Pentagonal signs mean you are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. When you see these signs, be alert and prepare to stop. A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may A. Turn in that direction after slowing and checking for traffic. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. C. Turn in that direction after you come to a complete stop. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. A red arrow means, stop. You must remain stopped until a green light or green arrow appears. Do not turn against a red arrow. A red traffic signal indicates that approaching drivers should A. Come to a complete stop. B. Increase their speed to quickly clear the intersection. C. Continue driving through the intersection without stopping. A. Come to a complete stop. Stop when a traffic signal is red. Remain stopped at a steady red light until the signal changes to green. You want to turn left at an upcoming corner. Yield the right of way to A. Oncoming vehicles also turning left. B. All approaching vehicles. C. Pedestrians on the sidewalk waiting for a walk signal. B. All approaching vehicles. When making a left turn, you must yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, or other vehicles moving on their green light. When passing another vehicle, A. Pass the vehicle as slowly as possible. B. Drive at the same speed as the vehicle you are passing. C. Pass the vehicle as safely and as quickly as possible. C. Pass the vehicle as safely and as quickly as possible. 
When passing another vehicle that is traveling in the same direction as you, pass quickly to resume visibility. Return to your previous lane only when you can see both of the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. If you have an argument with another person and you are angry, you should a. Loudly play the radio while driving so you won't think about your argument. b. Take a few minutes to cool off before driving. c. Drive on the interstate to let off steam. b. Take a few minutes to cool off before driving. Your emotions affect your ability to drive safely. If you are overly angry, excited, afraid, worried, or depressed, you should give yourself time to calm down before operating a vehicle. You need to be able to mentally focus on driving without thinking about the things that made you upset. Check your rear view mirrors? A. Often to see how traffic is moving behind you. B. To see if a vehicle is in your blind spot. C. Only when you are slowing down. A. Often to see how traffic is moving behind you. When driving, do not develop a fixed stare. Frequently check your rearview mirrors so you know the positions of vehicles near you. This sign means A. Upcoming downgrade or hill. B. Road construction area. C. Upcoming narrowing of roadway. A. Upcoming downgrade or hill. This sign warns of a dangerous downgrade or hill ahead. The hill may be very long or steep, or it may have sharp curves. Backing your vehicle is? A. Always dangerous. B. Dangerous if you have a helper. C. Only dangerous in large vehicles. A. Always dangerous. Backing up is always dangerous because it is hard to see behind your vehicle. Use extra caution when backing up. At a crosswalk? A. You must yield to pedestrians. B. Pedestrians must yield to you. C. Construction workers must yield to you. A. You must yield to pedestrians. Pedestrians have the right of way at street crossings but must obey traffic control signals. Where a traffic signal is not present, vehicles must stop for pedestrians in a crosswalk, whether it is marked or unmarked. A driver should A. Assume all drivers automatically obey the right-of-way rules. B. Assume most drivers obey the right-of-way rules. C. Always be prepared to yield the right-of-way. C. Always be prepared to yield the right-of-way. Although the right-of-way rules provide a guide to determine who should yield the right-of-way at an intersection, no one should assume they automatically have the right-of-way. The situation and circumstances at an intersection must always be considered. Drivers should yield their legal right of way if it can help prevent a collision. When a gate at a railroad crossing is lowering, you should a. Speed up and cross the tracks before the gate lowers completely. b. Come to a complete stop and wait. c. Drive around the gate. B. Come to a complete stop and wait. You must stop at a railroad crossing if the gate is lowering. It is unsafe to do otherwise. This sign means A. No turns. B. No outlet. C. No U-turns. C. No U-turns. This sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited. You may see a sign like this at an intersection that commonly has oncoming traffic. Fatigue increases the risk of A. 
Missing an exit. B. Being late for an appointment. C. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. C. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. Fatigue causes errors related to speed and distance, increases your risk of being in a crash, and causes you to take more time to make decisions. When you are fatigued, you could fall asleep behind the wheel and crash, injuring or killing yourself or others.